Before I start today's video, I request you all to follow and support my new YouTube channel that is JustaTech 2.0. You will get the channel link from the description. Please support this channel and subscribe it and also press the bell icon so that you will never miss the new update. Alright now let's talk about today's video. So in today's video I will show you how you can bypass the latest iOS 16.1.1 down to the iOS 15 for iPhone 6s to iPhone X. All these models are supported by the RAM disk method so we will use that and bypass the latest iOS 16.1.1. Also, the iPads and iPod models are also supported like iPod 7 generation, iPad 5th and 6th generation, iPad 7 generation, iPad Air 2nd generation and so many other models are supported. So I will just put the supported devices list on the screen so you can check that in the later part. Also with this video, I have hosted some very big and surprise giveaway for you guys. So just watch this video till the end to know more about that giveaway. Alright, for this process, we will use the latest HFZ Activator 7.3 version currently at this moment so if the new version come it will update in this list so you can download from my blog or check out the description link alright here we are with the HFZ activator premium version 7.3 latest at this moment now next I will just connect my device currently I have an iPhone 8 that is running on the latest iOS 16.1.1 now first you need to copy your ECID from the tool and you need to register it in the tool server. So for that copy the ECID and you just need to contact me on my social media platform. You will get all the official link from the description. You can contact me on my telegram and send your ECID and model and register it. I will display the price list according to the models on the screen so you can check that. Now after you register your ECID, you just need to follow this process and easily do the bypass on the latest iOS 16. So copy the serial number first with the serial check button. Now next you need to enter in the recovery mode first so you can click on the enter recovery mode button and after that your device will automatically get into the recovery mode. Now next you need to put your device into the DFU mode. If you know how to put your device into DFU mode, you can press the button and directly put it. If you don't know about that, you can click on the DFU helper button. After that, it will follow the instruction on the screen and your device will get into the DFU mode. Now it's done. Your device will show the black screen that means the DFU is good. Next you need to change your device serial number. For that you need to enter in the purple mode. So you can click on that button and your device will directly go into the purple mode. If you face some errors, you can use the magic CFG or purple pro tool and you can do the same with that. I've already made so many videos on how you can use that so you can watch that if you need some more help. Now after that click on that button. Now next wait for your device to turn the purple mode or change the color and after that you can use the HFZ CFG option or the tool will open that window and you can change the serial number in a one click and if this method is not working for you you can use the magic CFG or purple pro and after that you can change the serial number from that tool for the same. Now next select the USB serial from the incoming port. Click on connect and after that read SFCFG. After that your device detail will show. You can also use the magic CFG 2.0 or 1.3. Now next paste the serial number you have copied from the tool in the starting. Now click on the right. After that your serial number will be changed. Now you have to just restart your device or you can reboot the device from the tool option. Now after the serial change, if your device go into the recovery mode rather than it going on, you can click on the exit recovery button on the tool and after that your device will be on again. Now confirm the new serial number it changed or not from the I button and you can also click on the serial check button in the normal mode. It will show done that means the serial is changed completely. Now we are ready to use the tool again. After that put your device into the recovery mode again from that button and next DFU mode as we did in the previous step.
all right now next we need to boot your device you can select the ios 16 option if your device is on the latest ios 16 if your device is ios 15 you can uncheck that option now you need to click on boot if the first boot option is failed you can use the boot second option and then click on boot now next you need to wait for your device to complete boot up and this requires the fast internet it will send some important files so make sure you connect it with a fast wi-fi so now you can see the booting is done and you will see some verbose boot on your device now next click on the ssh check connection so click on that button and wait for it to get complete So now you can see we have getting the SSH connected so now click on OK. If it's showing SSH not connected you can try the different boot and reconnect your device and then you can try. Alright the tool has also one important feature if you have an activated or open menu or passcode disabled device you can use this option to get your device info like which email id or which iCloud details or number is linked you can get very useful information from that tool mostly this option is useful for the passcode or activated devices for the hello screen it will only show some normal information so now at the final step you need to click on the hello ios 15 no signal option Now your device will go into the recovery mode after the successful button. Now click on the exit recovery option and after that your device will completely reboot and you are ready to use your device. So let's wait for it to get complete on. So now you can see that we are on our data and privacy page, the activation lock screen is completely skipped. So now just set up your device normally and get back to your home screen. Alright welcome to the iPhone and we are on our home screen. So now we can see that we have successfully bypassed the latest iOS 16.1.1 down to the iOS 15. You can use the same method for the iPhones or iPad or iPod Touch and this method is completely untethered method like if you reboot the device it will not affect the bypass so you can easily reboot the device many times you want. Now you can see the device is on again. You can also use the iCloud login service. You can log into your own Apple ID account or you can use the new one or you can also use the App Store also. So now you can see that the iCloud login is working. You can use the App Store and use your device normally. So that's how you can bypass the latest iOS 16.1.1 with the HFZ Activator. Alright now let's talk about the giveaway. I am giving the 10 free registration of the HFZ Activator. You need to do two things. First you need to subscribe my new YouTube channel that is Just Tech 2.0. Second you need to comment on this video and that's all you are eligible in the giveaway. So that is all for this video. I will see you in the next one. So till then goodbye, take care and peace out.